What's up, guys? Welcome back to Country Bunkers Trains. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a good week. The missus and I, this past weekend, took a little trip south, a little weekend getaway to Daytona. Of course, while we were down there, paid my buddies Mike and Tony at Roundhouse South Trains a quick little visit, and ended up picking up some new rolling stock for the train room here. Included in that were these brand new Atlas O 52-foot flat cars that just came out, along with some other goodies. I gotta tell you, I really wasn't planning on doing a video on these cars. I just wanted to pick some up and enjoy them for myself, you know, just like everybody else. But I tell you what, I got these things home and got them out of the box. Damn, these things are awesome. These things are so cool. Way too cool not to share with you guys and do a quick video on them and check them out. I just recently started dipping my toes into the Atlas So product over the past year or so. We've got a few items of theirs. I do have their new Gunderson Auto Racks on order. I think those are showing up early next year. I can't wait to get my hands on those. Those things are going to be awesome. But yeah, I've been real impressed with everything that I've been getting from them. Some really superior and quality product. These cars, of course, are part of their Train Man line, which from what I gather is kind of their cheaper or budget-friendly line, if you will. But you damn sure couldn't tell that by looking at these cars. These cars look excellent. Like I say, these three-rail O-scale Atlas O 52-foot flat cars were just recently released over this past month, in October of 2022. I want to say they were offered or cataloged late last year or early this year. These cars feature separately applied walks, ladders, brake wheel, and lines, true scale dimensions with accurate details, metal wheels and axles with simulated sprung trucks and rotating bearing caps, accurate paint and lettering. These cars measure 14 and a half inches long, coupler to coupler. There's no minimum recommended curve for these cars, but I do believe it is a safe bet to say these cars will handle an 031 curve. They might not look the best doing it, but I do believe they will handle it just fine. They might be a little happier on 042 and up. One really cool and unexpected feature or accessory that came along with these cars were the four simulated straps or tie-downs for the pipe loads. Like I say, I was not expecting that. These little straps really take these cars over the top, in my opinion. It's just so neat. <laughs> but yeah, each car came with four of them. And they got a little clip on each end of the, the simulated strap. And they clip right in to the blocks on each side of the car. Really gives off a really nice effect. Like I say, this feature really takes these cars over the top. Here's a quick look at the underside. You can see all the nice details that they have. Like I say, for a budget-friendly line of theirs, you'd never know it. This is just one spectacular looking car. Detailing and lettering and decals are real nice and crisp. Here's a quick look at those rotating bearing caps. Nice and buttery smooth. Just overall a really, really nice car. I was actually kind of surprised. So when they announced these a year or so ago, I wanted to pre-order some, but I ended up not doing so. Other stuff took priority. But I was thinking that these were going to be old MTH tooling that Atlas O was redoing. But that's not the case. This happens to be, from what it seems, their own or all new tooling. I don't know if it's new or if it's being redone or what. But it's not MTH tooling. This is definitely Atlas O tooling. But yeah, I think they're spectacular. I was very happy to find out Tony ended up ordering a few for the store. Because of course you see where they ended up. And if you guys are interested in picking yourself up a few of these, I do believe he has a few of them left in stock. Last I knew he had two of these Union Pacific ones left. And he had a handful of the green Burlington Northern cars left as well. If you are interested, I would highly suggest snatching them up as quick as you can. Because these do seem to be going fairly quickly. And again, that's Tony over at Roundhouse South Trains in Port Orange, Florida. And here's a couple of quick bonus items. I mentioned we picked up several pieces of rolling stock. We also picked up some more scale size cabooses. And we really needed them. <laughs> I mentioned before we're lacking in the caboose... Uh, arena and I'm trying to help that out but as you can see we got an MTH Premier New Haven steel caboose this thing is gorgeous bunch of great details and whatnot you guys know what a fan I am of our New Haven engines here in the train room and this was just absolutely fitting it was a it was a necessity if you will <laughs> I think this thing is going to look great loaded up behind some freight cars 
running behind our New Haven FAs. Yeah, that's going to be quite the sight. But isn't that a good-looking caboose? I think it is. But I'd have to say the winner of cabooses is definitely this. We got our first K-line piece of rolling stock. This thing is spectacular. This happens to be a New York Central smoking caboose. I've been hearing a lot from people on the forums as well as in person recommending K-Line, and I definitely see why now. I never really paid it much attention. I saw some cool pieces, but the stuff I normally see down here in Florida is more towards the conventional style of things. But yeah, this is a later K-Line run of the smoking caboose, uh, and it's just spectacular. It's, it's amazing. It's a great looking caboose. Bunch of great separately applied details. Obviously, as you can see, she's smoking. But yeah, it's just a great looking caboose. I definitely see the attraction towards these K-Line pieces. Just spectacular. This is an older, or I'm sorry, a newer run or a later run of the K-Line. Oh, I'm making a mess already. This one has the switches for conventional or command control on the bottom. I heard there was some issues with the older ones that did not have this option. A lot of the conventional ones running on a command layout would burn up. So luckily we got the command control one, I guess. <laughs> I haven't noticed any issues, but yeah, I'm very impressed with this. I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes out for some more K-Line rolling stock in the future. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. As I mentioned earlier, not really a super exciting video, but I did think those new Atlas O flat cars were way too cool not to check out. I'm going to leave you guys with a few shots of these new cars running around the layout. I hope you enjoy. If you did enjoy this quick video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It would be much appreciated. But anyways, guys, until next time, my name is Zach, and this is Country Bunkers Trains. Y'all take care. I'll see you the next go-round.